Hey, this is Melanie Petro, and I heard one of the funniest things I've heard yesterday. Of course, it came from a man who, even though sometimes they act like they don't notice how we look, if it's bad, they always they always notice, and they have the funniest analogies that I've ever heard. Um, so this guy yesterday was here with his wife, and he was talking about mouths, and we were he had, you know, was like, yeah, I know this lady, and he was talking about this famous person. Honestly, I can't remember her name, but most people know her. You see her mouth. We were talking about how um, in plastic surgery or any kind of injectables, people can look so incredibly fake. Um, and he compared her mouth to a large mouth bass, which it really is funny when you think about it. Um, and it really does look like it. And we've done a lot of talking about Vabella. Um, but isn't that, that really is funny. It took me a while to find a head on of a bass, but it doesn't have a pretty shape. Um, and if you look at this picture, you can see that in the before, and she has a really pretty mouth. She has a really pretty smile. Um, her upper lip covers most of her gum, which is exactly what you want. And most people that want filler in their upper lip, they don't want a big lip. They just want their lip to cover their gum. They want to show less gum when they smile. And she really had that here. I mean, she has a beautiful upper lip. She does have some lines here, but some of that is normal and what you do want. You you know, and she's got a pretty, really pretty smile. And afterwards, I mean, it certainly looks like she's gained some weight there. And But you see her mouth has a different shape, a very, very unnatural shape. Um, either an, a lip implant or a filler that was too thick. Sometimes fat can bunch up. Um, and it, she's got this funny dimpling in her chin, which makes you think she potentially has a, some type of implant. Um, this almost looks like a suture or something in her neck. And then her eyes have gone from being really pretty and natural over here to looking really, really unnatural. So she, you know, she went from being really pretty to just in her completely fake looking and it, it really is sad um, and the saddest part is that these people don't come out and say here's what I did whatever you do don't do it and it scares people and it makes you think gosh if I have that I'm gonna look like that and that couldn't be further from the truth um, so this is Vabella this is the newest um, we are one of a few in Birmingham to have it and very happy to have it it's an awesome awesome injectable it lasts a year and it makes a very, it's perfect for lip lines for people that don't want necessarily a bigger lip, but they've got smoker's lines or lines in their upper, which you can get those even if you don't smoke, or lines in your upper lip. And when you develop the lines in your upper lip, your lipstick bleeds into them. So a lot of these people just feel like they can't wear their makeup anymore because of the lines. So they're just looking for something to where they can put on their makeup. Because as women, that's what makes us feel better, really, um, when we get up in the mornings and put on our makeup and it makes us feel pretty. That's what we've always done. And so when you put on your makeup and it sticks in your pores or your lips, it bleeds up into your lip lines and you, I mean, it's just not a good feeling, especially because it tends to be associated with smoking. And most people that have it don't smoke. Um, of course, you shouldn't smoke or sit through straws. That's a bad thing for developing lip lines. So Vabella is made by Allergan, so you get brilliant distinction points. Um, and it's the most natural... It's a smaller molecule, so you have a lot less swelling. Um, you can put it in the brow to kind of give your brow a lift. You can put it in the tear trough area. It's designed and FDA approved for the lips um, and for the lip line. So it's made for finer lines. It's not as thick. Um, Juvederm is still terrific. Voluma is great for the cheeks, but in those places where you just want a little something. We've had several people in the past few days who have never even had fillers who saw, we have a picture um, that you can see of Vabella, it's subtle. It's subtle, it's elegant, it's different than the other fillers um, for that reason because it's just a smaller molecule. So it works great. It lasts a year, which is longer than the others. And you know, when you think about your mouth and you think about things that you wanna do or things that you wanna improve, everyone wants to look natural. No one wants to look like somebody else or certainly like a fish. And there is, there is a fish, a really funny fish. I'm gonna to have to find it, but my son and I were out of town and he, we were at this aquarium and he sees this fish and he goes, oh my gosh, there's a Kylie Jenner, Jenner fish. It had these really big lips, so I'm gonna find that too. Um, 
And if y'all can think of any fish, you can certainly post them. But it is funny the names that they give fish. There's a big nose something, and there are lots of them with really big lips. But it's fun to look at, and it's always funny how men are so good at coming up with analogies like this looks like a large mouth bass because I never would have thought of that. But it certainly shows you because when you look at a face and you study faces, you always want the angles to be natural and you always want it to look like it used to a few years ago and never like something weird or unnatural. And I think with fillers especially, it's almost you're almost more likely to come across someone that looks really unnatural because of fillers than you are with surgery because there's so many people putting them in. Um, but this is a terrific product. It gives us the opportunity to treat things that we haven't been able to treat before. Little fine lines and people that want just that subtle difference so that um, they can tell a difference, but no one else can. So it's a great new product. We're very happy and excited to have it. If y'all have any questions, feel free to Facebook us. We have a few syringes left, and then October 17th, it'll be available. Um, so we'll be able to order more, but it is terrific. Um, I look forward to any comments. Please let me know if you have any questions at all, and we will see you soon.